Hey, what's happening, guys? Jalam and Tech over here. Um, so I am so excited to uh, let you all in with the Google Fi. Um, so when you get it from Google, uh, the data only, and you have one of the uh, newer laptops uh, that has the 4G LTE uh, band on it, in other words, you can put SIM cards, uh, Google will tell you that it does not work. But if you have Windows 10 and um, you have um, one of the newer laptops, chances are um, it will work. So you have nothing to lose. Uh, go ahead and like uh, get the data only SIM card from Google anyway and try putting it on. Uh, when you put it first, when you install it, it's going to say insert SIM card, right? Uh, it will say, it will keep saying insert SIM card, um, right? So what you need to do, don't panic. Go ahead and um, leave the day, uh, the cell service on. Uh, if you use Windows 10, you're familiar with this. You go into the internet access, uh, plug, uh, press that, make sure that it's activated, and go ahead and uh, restart your uh, your PC, right? So when you restart it, don't do anything. You'll see at this bottom right here, it would say that your mobile broadband is um, setting up right so just let it do its thing uh, before you do that it would also probably be advisable to put the data the sim card data only on an iphone that's compatible or an android phone activate it first because um, i tried to activate it with the laptop and it would not work but if you activate it on that and then put it on here you would still have uh, insert sim but don't panic like i said uh, go ahead and restart the um, the servers and when you start it back on, then you would see the uh, setting, like I told you all earlier, that says mobile broadband uh, setting up, something like that. So just give it a few minutes. Once it hits 100, you will surely have your uh, data only. You can see that Google Fi right now is connected to T-Mobile under LTE. Um, I do not know if you will switch carriers as I go to different areas. I'm not sure about that, but right now it is choosing T-Mobile. But um, yeah, so I'm excited to let you all know about that because um, Google tells you that it does not work on Windows 10 PCs. It only works on um, tablets, uh, Android and iPhone tablets, but that's actually not true. So it actually works. Um, um, yeah, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. And hopefully if you're in the market for that, you travel a lot for work, um, you know, you want to grab yourself a uh, data service, especially Google Fi, which I would recommend because when you travel, you can use it overseas as well. You can still have data, which is safe because if you're using it, you're probably using it on a work computer, which, uh, you know, if you connect it on LTE, it's probably much more secure than connecting to Wi-Fi, especially at airports, you know, when, when you know, you're just connecting to public Wi-Fi and all that is less security. So, all right, guys, so I hope this is helpful. Once again, it's Jalam in Tech. Please don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up uh, there, a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe for more videos. All right, once again, this is the tips. Uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.